In this video, we're back at the Disneyland Resort and we're gonna be talking about some of the extra things you can add to your trip to make it extra special. Now, these will cost a little bit more, but some of them are really, really fun and really, really worth it, while maybe some others aren't as worth it. So whether it's the Fantasmic Dining Package, World of Color Dessert Party, or some of the special viewing for parades, we're gonna cover it all. So let's dive in and let's get a little bougie. Tonight, we are going to be doing the World of Color Dessert Party. So we're very excited to have wonderful seats for the show, delicious desserts, and hopefully a wonderful evening. The World of Color Dessert Party is priced at $89 per guest, ages three and up. This includes tax and gratuity. Children under two can attend for free, but they must sit on an adult's lap. Reservations are required and can be made up to 60 days in advance. Try to book as close to the 60 day mark as possible. If there are two showings of World of Color on the night you visit, you'll be able to choose between the first or second showing, depending on availability. You need to check in before the show, about an hour before, and where that happens is over by Grizzly River Run, there is a water wheel, and over there is where you check in for both the earlier and later show for the evening. Your reservation time for the party is about an hour before the actual performance begins. In the past when I've done this party before, they wouldn't start checking guests in for the party until closer to the reservation time. So everyone with reservations would wait in a long line and then get checked in about 30 minutes before the party began. On our most recent visit, one of the very positive changes was cast members were checking in guests earlier, assigning the table, giving them wristbands for the viewing area, then the guests were encouraged to go and enjoy the park, and then encouraged to come back just a few minutes before the dessert party would begin. And at that point, a cast member walked us over to the seating area at the Paradise Garden Park. So if you have reservations, I would recommend dropping by the check-in location by the water wheel about an hour before your reservation time to see if they've begun checking in guests. You will likely be given the option between a low table with folding chairs or a high top table with director's chairs. So think about which table you would prefer. They both have great views, but for some, it's a little bit easier to sit closer to the ground. Others, the director's chairs aren't a problem. While the specific treats and desserts may vary depending on the season, here's an example of what you can expect. All right, so here's what we have. We have a Mickey Crispy treat. We have a shortbread cookie. We have a macaron. And then we have a chocolate mousse cake, assorted cheeses, Let's see what this one is called. We have the Mickey Funfetti Bundt Cake, crackers, and delicious drinks. So the dessert party is excellent so far. I think my favorite fun thing that I've had is the McFetti Bundt Cake. That's been my favorite so far. During the party, you'll enjoy unlimited soft drinks like Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, and bottled water, along with coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. A World of Color seasonal mocktail is also included. And for adults 21 years and older, you can choose from wine, sparkling wine, or a seasonal cocktail. For kids, they usually offer something special like this light up sippy cup. Then it's time for the show. These video clips do not do the show or the viewing location justice. The views from this location are far enough back that you can really take in the whole show and how large the scope of it all is. You do miss some of the lowest fountains near the front due to the crowds, but that is true of most of the viewing locations unless you are at the very front near the water's edge. Now because of the price of the dessert party, I think most people are only going to experience this for special occasions or for a special trip or what have you. So of course you don't need the dessert party to watch World of Color. You can still get a great view of the show from the standing room viewing areas without any additional cost, but you do need to join the Virgil queue earlier in the day. Disneyland Resort also offers special dining packages and dessert parties for parade viewing at both Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. The parades change throughout the year depending on the season or park celebrations, and at certain times there may be no parades at all. When parades are running, here's the typical options. At Disneyland, you can book a dining package at the Plaza Inn. As with all of these bougie experiences, it's best to make your reservation 60 days in advance. For this package, you'll enjoy a special meal earlier in the day, with the dining time usually between 1 and 4 p.m. When you arrive at the Plaza Inn, just follow the sign for the dining package, pay for your meal, and pick it up at the designated serving station. The menu is fixed, and here's what we had when we tried it out. All right, so we have our lunch here. As you can see, it's got the regular three pieces of chicken that you would normally have. The things that are a little bit different, they do have the mac and cheese, a salad with some bacon and onions on top. Instead of the usual biscuit, it is a cornbread Mickey muffin and some roasted carrots. And then for dessert, a decadent berry cheesecake. 
The typical price for the dining package is about $55 for adults ages 10 and up, $30 for kids. Along with your meal, you'll receive a voucher for access to a special parade viewing area, which is separate from the restaurant. If there are two parades that day, the package typically grants you access to the second showing if it's a daytime parade, or the first showing if it's a nighttime parade. The viewing area is located directly across from the train station. Your voucher will indicate when you should arrive in Town Square to enter the area. Keep in mind, this area doesn't have chairs, and if you want a spot on the curb, it fills up fast. While the space isn't overcrowded, those prime curb spots are usually taken quickly, so some guests will have to sit behind others. Over at Disney California Adventure, the special parade viewing option is a dessert party. Guests get reserved seats at either a low top or high top table with chairs. Each guest receives a selection of desserts, and here's what we had when we attended. So here are the desserts we're getting. We get a little Pixar cake right here, which is really cute. The grape soda macaron by Up. And I think, believe this little bun cake is from Coco with the flowers, and there's actually live flowers on there. A star, I'm assuming just general Pixar or maybe Toy Story. This one, I believe there's peanut butter inside this cookie, and we think it's from Monsters, Inc. And then there's some cheeses, some sliced meats, and grapes and crackers. And they're bringing out drinks right now. In addition to the sweets, guests enjoy unlimited soft drinks, bottled water, coffee, tea, hot chocolate, and a mocktail. Adults 21 and over can enjoy an alcoholic beverage. The parade is about to start here, and so we'll give you a quick review of what we thought of the desserts. They were all good overall. For me, I actually oddly like the cheeses and crackers and meats the best this time. The one thing that was a little too rich for me was the Monsters, Inc. cookie, but it was all very tasty, so... The cost of the dessert party is $89, which includes tax and gratuity. If parade dining packages or dessert parties aren't your thing, my best tip for viewing parades is to opt for the second showing for nighttime parades. And for daytime parades, keep an eye on the parade route about an hour before showtime. Once you see people filling in, grab a spot, ideally in the shade. This is also a great time to have someone from your group mobile order some Disney treats or seasonal snacks to enjoy while you wait. That way you can relax, enjoy some snacks, and have a perfect view of the parade. Disneyland also offers dining options with firework views. But keep in mind that fireworks can be canceled due to weather or technical difficulties. Even if the skies are clear, winds at higher elevations can lead to cancellations. The two options for fireworks viewing are the Tomorrowland Skyline Terrace Dining Package and the Fire of the Rising Moons Dining Package in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The Tomorrowland Skyline Terrace Dining Package takes place on this balcony in Tomorrowland. Disney describes it as a chance to delight in an evening dining package with iconic chilled foods, snacks, and desserts inspired by the space age, served in a commemorative bento box. You'll also get to enjoy the fireworks spectacular from this unique vantage point. You can either stay on the terrace all evening or come and go as you please from 6.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Each person in your group must purchase a chilled selection dining package to enter, and here's a look at some of the menu options. Before the fireworks, you can relax on the balcony, take in the views, and even enjoy some games they have up there. The cost is $89 per guest. Disney has also announced a new firework dining package in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge near Docking Bay 7. This experience will include select bites and drinks while you enjoy the special Star Wars themed soundtrack and story that accompanies the fireworks, which is only presented in Galaxy's Edge. The viewing area offers an unforgettable view of the Fire of the Rising Moon's nighttime fireworks spectacular. As of the making of this video, Disney hasn't released the price for this experience. Because of the risk of fireworks being canceled and the many great free viewing spots around the park, this is personally the least enticing splurge of the bunch for me. I would recommend enjoying the view of the fireworks back by It's a Small World or the fountains over along the rivers of America. Before we dive into the Fantasmic dining packages, let's talk about two other splurges we love, Character Dining and the Lightning Lane Multipass. The Lightning Lane Multipass lets you skip the standby line at over 10 attractions in Disneyland, and nine attractions in California Adventure by using the Lightning Lane entrance. All of this is done through the Disneyland app. I've made a video showing a full day of using the Lightning Lane Multipass, how it works, and how much time we saved, which I'll link down below. As of the making of this video, the Lightning Lane Multipass starts at $32 per ticket per day, but prices and availability vary by date. For character dining, there are four options at the Disneyland Resort. Inside Disneyland, you can enjoy Minnie and Friends Breakfast in the Park at the Plaza Inn where you'll enjoy breakfast with a bunch of Disney friends. At the Disneyland Hotel, there's Goofy's Kitchen, where you can dine with Goofy, Minnie, Pluto, Chip, and Del. Over at the Grand Californian Hotel, there's Mickey's Tales of Adventure at Storyteller's Cafe, featuring Mickey and some of his pals. 
Lastly, the most expensive option is the Disney Princess Breakfast Adventure at the Napa Rose, which features several Disney princesses. Character meals are a fantastic way to meet multiple characters without waiting in long lines while enjoying a great meal. If you want to save time on character meet and greets, I highly recommend booking a character meal. And if you want to cut down your wait times for attractions, especially on busy days, or if you don't visit the parks very often, the Lightning Lane Multipass is definitely worth a splurge. Now let's talk about one of the most popular splurges at Disneyland, the Fantasmic Dining Package. Fantasmic is one of the most beloved shows at the resort, so finding a good spot can be challenging. Luckily, there are several dining packages to choose from, ranging in price from $35 at Rancho del Zocalo to $89 at Blue Bayou. With each package, you'll receive a voucher for access to a reserved viewing area. Note that this is ground seating, but it gives you a fantastic view of the show. I've got a full video breaking down all the details and current menu options, which I'll link below, but here are some of the highlights from our recent meal at the Blue Bayou and our view of the show. All right, they just brought out our appetizers and I got the gumbo. And so far I've taken a bite or two and it's absolutely delicious. All right, we have our entrees and we're diving in. I haven't tried my ribeye yet, but my brother-in-law just tasted it and... Very, very, very good. And my sister, I think she's liking this. The filet mignon is so good, so, so good. All right, we're wrapping up our entree, which mine was extra delicious. It was the ribeye and the shrimp with it, and they were both delicious. The steak was so good. I had it medium and so good. The potatoes with it were also delicious. The broccolini, I just had a little bite but didn't blow my mind, but the steak and the shrimp were all great. And my sister had the filet mignon. I had the filet mignon, so, so good. Very, very tasty. And I highly recommend the Louisiana lemonade. I had that in the mint julep, and I think this one was the winner. So. Yeah, I also had the ribeye. Um, very, very good. Better than I expected. So the shrimp was good. I also agree on the lemonade. Very good. Um, what else? There's nothing bad that I've had tonight. The appetizer was great. The gumbo. So. They also brought us each out our own tray of bread with like four rolls each. And it had salted butter on top, like with sea salt and also strawberry jam or preserves. And it was really good and kind of a rosemary bread, so it was good. We are diving into dessert. I got the chocolate decadent um, tart with Mickey on it. If you decide not to purchase the Fantasmic Dining Package, my top tip for getting a great view is arriving just before the first show is ending. You can watch the fireworks from the Rivers of America after the first show ends, and once the fireworks are over, the crowds from the first Fantasmic show will start to clear out. That's your chance to snag a great spot, ideally in the front row of one of the regular viewing areas. Alright, so we've shown you a lot of the bougie options you can have as the extra add-ons where you pay a little bit more, but I'm going to get my family's insights of what they like the most. So we've experienced the World of Color Dessert Party, we've experienced over at California Adventure some of the special parade seating dessert party, and also over here at Disneyland they have a parade um, dining package, and then the Fantasmic dining packages. So. I'll ask my sister first what her preference is or what she thinks is maybe worth it or not worth it. I think the top two are the Fantasmic Dining Package and the World of Color Dessert Party. They're both so good. It's so nice to have a seat for the show. It's fun to just be able to enjoy it and not have to wait for super long and have to like have people crowd in and out of you. So I feel like those are the most bang for the buck. You get a lot more food at the Fantasmic Dining Package, so I love that. Having a chair table and everything, chair and table for World of Color is really nice. So I mean, those two are top tier right there and my, my absolute favorite, so. All right, and my brother-in-law, his thoughts. Yeah, so I would agree that those are the top two. Uh, obviously this one's the most fresh for me, but I'd say this one by far, especially this Blue Bayou, um, was the bougiest of all. I think one thing about the dessert party over at World of Color, it feels a little rushed. It's kind of nice that you can kind of eat your meal, take your time, and then come over here and not have to wait very long and not be eating while you're... I mean, it's kind of fun to eat while you're watching a show, but I kind of like having them separate. So, but the food, I mean, the food tonight was, was awesome. And the show was great. Yeah, so, and I agree with that. I mean, the parades are fun. The 
one at um, California Adventure. It's fun to sit there and eat that, but the parade's ne not necessarily my favorite. And whether they're doing it for the Halloween show or another parade, I don't always think maybe you don't necessarily need that to get a good view of it. Also for the parade here at Disneyland, it does. You have to wait in a line. You're still seated on the curb. So really, for me, the Fantasmic and World of Color are the top tier. So that's my vote. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give a like and consider subscribing because my hope is always to make your next Disney adventure a little bit more magical with tips and tricks, food reviews, and news. We'll see y'all again real soon. Bye.